I just love how uh, everything is digital as far as content is now. In my entertainment unit, I actually have a Windows uh, Media Center PC or computer that controls everything that uh, I use for entertainment. Right now, I've got a picture slideshow going. It's actually sucking these pictures off one of the other computers in the house where I have all my photos and I can watch them anytime I want. And I also have my video collection accessible through here and uh, my music collection and also uh, it controls my television so I can uh, look up on the guide for example uh, all the different uh, television programs that are available I can watch them live uh, on the TV and I can even record them uh, to the hard drive and watch them whenever I want. If I want to I can also plug my DVD movies into the actual PC and uh, watch them on my big screen TV. But one thing that I always found kind of a hassle is uh, I've got kids and they're always, uh, you know, taking the movies in and out and getting scratched. I thought it would be cool, you know, if I could actually put my movies on the hard drive of the computer. Well, you can now and I'll, uh, I'll show you how that works. It's a program called My Movies and you can get it from uh, mymovies.name. Uh, that's the website address. Uh, it's actually a programmer out of Denmark and it's a plug-in or an add-in for Windows Media Center. It works with the 2005 edition and also the Windows Vista edition. And now, once you've installed it, it puts another icon right up onto the menu, My Movies. And by clicking on this, I can actually uh, go to My Movie Collection. I'll show you how I put it in after. But essentially, up on the screen now, I've uh, literally put uh, a few hundred of my movies uh, onto my hard drive. I've actually got a couple external hard drives as well that uh, house them all. And uh, I can simply go in here. And uh, as I scroll through the different movies, you can see... Uh, I can then click on it and get the title screen up here. I can even go in and check out the cast and if I want to I just click uh, watch and I'm good to go. To get them in it's a little bit more work. You have to kind of know what you're doing. So I mean look at all these movies here. I've literally got uh, dozens, uh, not a few hundred of all these kids movies and some of my favorite music uh, concert DVDs and stuff like that. Essentially what you've got to do is uh, get a ripping program. I use uh, DVD Shrink and uh, by doing that, it'll actually rip or transfer all of the, uh, the DVD movie information onto your hard drive. And once there, my movies uh, will be able to uh, actually put it in the menu. Put that down for a second. Once you've ripped it onto the hard drive, I'll bring up the keyboard and mouse here, you go to uh, a program that uh, also installs. It's uh, the Collection Manager. As you can see there on the left-hand side, I've got uh, all of my, uh, my movie collection listed out. And uh, I'm just going to go to Add Title. And by simply typing in a, a title, like Hercules, for example, I can then uh, have it search. And it's actually searching uh, the IMDB, or the Inter Internet Movie Database. You can also select other ones, like the Amazon database, if it doesn't uh, have your particular movie. But once it's uh, in there, it'll actually load in all that information. It'll find the cover art for you. and. Uh, then all you have to do is point to where that particular uh, movie is on the hard drive. So you've got to know what folder and what drive it's in. Once that's done, it'll automatically add that uh, movie title to your My Movies menu system. So from now on, you can use your remote control to simply select the movie and you don't have to put the DVD in again. The best part of this is uh, the plug-in or the add-in is absolutely free. He is asking for donations, the programmer, but uh, I think you'll find if you do have a Windows Media Center, it'll probably be one of the features, once you've installed it, that you use the most.